Welcome over to Automotive World, everyone. I'm your host, William Mystery, and we have some great stories coming out tonight. Let's start off, though, with one of our, our most exciting stories. We have pricing on the new Toyota Tacoma with hybrid powertrains. Um, this is really big because we've been waiting for the Tacoma for a very long time, as we've been waiting for the 4Runner, uh, with the 4Runner now just being unveiled. Um, just as I kind of predicted, as soon as the 4Runner comes out, that would be a good time for them to then put out the hybrid pricing as the 4Runner is so closely related. So the fact that we now have pricing on the hybrid Tacoma leads us to speculate and we can predict and kind of estimate how closely the prices will be. More than likely the same, maybe about a thousand or two different. Um, but we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive on here. Um, one other big thing too before we get into pricing, unlike the older Tacoma, uh, you used to be able to get it with the V6 in both rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. All new hybrid powertrains are just going to be standard four wheel drive unless you get the limited trim which would be that full time all wheel drive uh, with a full time four wheel drive. So there is no rear wheel drive hybrid powertrain if you were kind of hoping for that. I don't think anybody was um, but all hybrid trims are going to be standard four wheel drive. Starting off with pricing. We know that the new Tacoma iForce Max models, as we said, they're going to be available for TRD Sport, Off-Road, Limited, Trail Hunter, and TRD Pro. On TRD Sport, they are going. it's going to start MSRP $46,300. That's excluding delivery and processing handling fee, as well as, as, well as any other state taxes, MSRP, you know, markups, dealer fees, and things like that. Uh, keep in mind on these trims, um, other than Trail Hunter and um, TRD Pro, the iForce Max is going to be an optional upgrade. Um, so you don't have to necessarily get it, but it is going to be an optional upgrade on every trim other than those two trims. But we know it's going to start at $46,300. we are going to go into our detailed list over here at Car and Driver. Starting here, and they have it with the destination fees included. Uh, we have it here, TRD Sport is going to start at $47,795. TRD Off-Road is going to start at $48,095. Uh, limited, $57,295. Trail Hunter is going to go all the way up to $64,395. And TRD, Bro, TRD Pro is going to go to $65,395. Looking at this pricing here, like I said, this is going to be very close, very similar pricing, if not the same pricing for 4Runner. It might be because it's a little bit of a newer vehicle, newer interior. Uh, it might be a little bit more by a thousand or two. Um, might be a little bit less, but this is relatively the same pricing we're going to see for 4Runner. Um, it is a big jump. Um, it is a big jump to get Toyota's hybrid option. Even at the entry level point, it is a $3,700 upgrade. Uh, it is in a way though, it is worth it. I mean, you get so much more power. You're gonna get the fuel efficiency. Um, you are gonna get four wheel drive standard, whether it's full time or a part time system. Um, so it, it is a pricey option, but it is an option there nonetheless. Um, like I said, all these prices here as well, these are going to be with the delivery and processing free uh, fee. It's not going to be like I said without other state taxes and dealer fees and things like that. It does put the Tacoma as I predicted though in the mid 60s probably once you're out the door high 60s maybe even very very low 70s. Um, it does put it above the 405 horsepower Ford Ranger Raptor which is $57,065. So this vehicle is I mean, we saw it get a huge price cre a huge price increase across the board, uh, from the standard trim all the way up to the top dog. Um, we saw, you know, when I did the video a few days ago, you can already buy a limited trim without the iForce Max. That's just with that regular 2.4 liter turbo, um, and that's already pushing into the low 50s. So we knew that this was going to be expensive, but the Toyota Tacoma with hybrid powertrains is taking a huge huge price jump um you know it's it's kind of crazy to see these type of prices in my opinion but you know this is what the market is and obviously it's a new engine it's you know this is the tech that we're asking so that's the price we're going to pay but it is a huge 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 price increase uh the older trd sports and trd off-roads 
usually on the older ones if you were to get them with the v6 with four-wheel drive you would have been looking at like low to mid 40s so you know like i said it still did jump by quite a margin um the limited trim though is really just up there on that 57,000, and then you've got trd pro going to 65 um some of you are looking at motor one's article um their article over here and some people have noted down in the comments um their article here is a bit off uh the reason why is because they have on one list they have the price included um without the fees but then on their other chart here they have the complete wrong pricing in general um for the hybrid powertrains because first of all the the, the motor one article sr5 does not get hybrid option even to upgrade you're going to get the option to upgrade on trd sport off-road limited trail hunter and trd pro are going to come standard and we already know from the car and driver article and toyota usa from toyota newsroom we already know that 40 you know that trd sport grade uh, is going to start at 46,300 with that upgrade for the hybrid powertrain so i wanted to go over the motor one article because i read motor one every day like probably all of you watching this video and a lot of people are seeing this right now and some people in their comments haven't really noticed it but their chart here is completely off um, because trd sport they have it for the price of the regular one not without the hybrid or not with the hybrid included i'm sorry so i'll link that in the description so you guys can see it but their article on here is a bit off happens you know sometimes you put out the wrong article but it just doesn't look good so i figured you know i want to just show that that way we you know you guys can see that we have the most accurate information here um price wise i mean i don't want to sound surprised you know i, I think it's expensive uh, but I think we all knew that. I don't want to sound surprised and play dumb, act like we didn't know. Um, but yeah, it's not. I mean, this is an expensive, expensive vehicle. Uh, you know, in terms of warranty, you know, this vehicle did go up a lot in price. But we do have a pretty decent warranty on here. All of them are going to come with that 36 month. 36,000 mile warranty uh, in terms of powertrain warranty you're gonna have uh, 60 months 60,000 miles uh, in terms of the material and workmanship eight year 100,000 mile warranty pretty decent and then obviously the big thing is we're worried about that hybrid system like Toyota's other hybrids we're gonna have a 10 year 150,000 mile warranty um, and that is going to be transferable across ownership so it, for whatever reason if you do decide to sell this vehicle um you can use that as a really big selling factor for equity which is <clears throat> excuse me really really good to see that um so for those of us who are worried about the hybrid system and the powertrain we have 60 months, 60,000 miles on the powertrain, but if we are wor if you are worried about this new hybrid system and you're thinking, "Oh my god, what if I, you know, keep this vehicle for like 5 years or something and and you know, it goes out." You've got a 10-year, 150,000-mile powertrain warranty. For most people dr who drive, most people who drive, you know, a normal vehicle, they're not going to use up 100, you know, they're not going to use up, you know, 150,000 miles in five years you know six years uh i'm sure some some people may but most people are not going to do that so if you are worried about oh my god what if i you know in three years this thing's going to break uh, you've got plenty of mileage to work with and you've also got you know if you don't drive a lot as well and you're like well what if it's you know sitting and things like that you've got 10 years so they do offer the, a good warranty but this vehicle i mean like i said it has grown in price uh, like I said, we're, I don't think anybody's surprised at this, but it is a bit of, um, it is a bit of an eye-watering number. Um, but I mean, that's, that's our pricing on here. It's, you know, it is a jump. Like I said, it is 37, uh, $3,700 jump, you know, realistically, realistically out the door if you're looking at this vehicle. Um, you know, even the TRD Sport trim, uh, you're looking, you know, with dealer fees and state taxes depending on where you live and probably if there are markups and things you're probably looking at minimum walking out the door 50 minimum um especially too if you're financing the vehicle obviously you're going to have then interest on the vehicle unless you do you know zero for 30 months or something 36 months um you know out the door and your total buyout price at the end of the term 
if you're looking at over over 50 well into the 50s um you know if you're looking at trd pro you know you're looking at pretty much almost 65 and a half uh like i said state taxes dealer fees things like that more than likely in our trd pro too there are going to be markups um, and if you are financing one of those vehicles, I mean, you're at that point, by the time you've paid off your loan, if you don't do no interest financing, I mean, you've, you've already paid well, well into the seventies and, and probably even to the eighties at that point. Um, and then now that all depends too on obviously what kind of credit and things you have. So that's kind of going to be our deep dive here. Uh, just my opinions on it. I'm not surprised. Like I said, I'm not surprised. I'm not going to act dumb. I'm not going to be like, oh my God, this is a sticker shock. But I mean, it, it is just kind of insane to see, um, you know, where these prices have gone on this truck. And obviously, I know, you know, I mentioned the warranty because a lot of people are going to be uneasy about this. Um, you know, you do have a very long warranty. If, you know, there are going to be a lot of you who are like, well, I, you know, even with that warranty, I just don't trust. I mean, there's plenty of other vehicles out there. I mean, I, you know, to me, I just think with these type of pricing, with this type of pricing and then people being so unsure about the hybrid system and the, you know, a, a little, two, you know, a 2.4 liter turbo under that type of, you know, just demand. Um, even though, I mean, things like the Frontier interior-wise are maybe a little bit more outdated than this vehicle. I, I think things like, you know, the Frontier that still have that standard V6, you know, it's been proven reliable. Uh, I think, you know, especially too, it's a lot cheaper. You can find really good prices, really good discounts. You can go to dealers across the country and be, fi you know, finding it Frontiers with and Pro Forexes under MSRP still. And I have a ton of them here in Florida that I've seen under MSRP. Um, I think that just makes, you know, that vehicle a much better value. Um, but it is what it is. So that's our video on, on Toyota Tacoma uh, with hybrid powertrain. Like I said, because of how close to 4Runner is to this vehicle, especially in this generation, how they've, you know, come back and essentially merged the two vehicles together. We don't have pricing on 4Runner. I would expect it's going to be the same, if not, because 4Runner is obviously newer. It has a little bit of a newer interior. Might even be a little bit more. Might even be a little bit more, but probably within the same range. But we'll have to wait for 4Runner when that comes out. But this is a really good indicator of, you know, if you are looking for that 4Runner in these, you know, any of these trims, uh, this is pretty much your pricing right here. Be expect to be in this ballpark area. So that's going to be our video, everyone. That's our deep dive on the Toyota Tacoma pricing with hybrid powertrain. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone.